So, as you may be aware, Looney Tunes is coming to a regular choice on Friday the 29th of July. Looney Tunes! Um, so I thought I would do something different. I thought I'd do a vlog rather than a blog. So I don't know anything more than everyone else at the moment. Um, we know that there's two pairs of shoes definitely coming. There's a pair of tights and there's a bag. Let's talk about them first because we actually find out quite a bit of information from them things. So the bag, which is called, which is here, is called Tune In. And it's a TV bag and you can move the things in and out and it looks so cool. You can actually change what's on the front of the TV. Um, so if anybody has got the Elastic and Chrome TV brooch, um, where you can put anything you want on the TV, like you could put Wizard of Oz, um, I'm doing One Division Disney Bounds, so I could put One Division in the TV. You can, it says Looney Tunes on it, but the possibilities are endless. It's a brand new shape bag. We don't have anything, as far as I'm aware, we haven't had anything of this size before. It's 33 centimetres by 23 centimetres by 13 centimetres. Um, so it's quite a good size. I think that's going to definitely fit in like an A4 type folder type size. We haven't had anything that size before. Definitely good for like um, your tablet or mini laptop. Um, so I am really looking forward to that. And that's the thing I want most at the moment. I am obsessed with that bag. The shoes, we have two pair of shoes that we know are coming. There's That's All Folks, which are a platform heel, um, three centimetre platform, um, sizes 36 to 43, so they're not in the extended size range. And they're called That's All Folks. So That's All Folks have this really bold red um, pattern on the front, which is the Looney Tunes circle. And it actually says Looney Tunes in gold writing, which looks like they're really going to pop. And um, in terms of characters, we have Bugs and Daffy on one side coming out of the circle. And then on the other side, we have Sylvester and Twee Pie. <laughs> um, interesting to put them two together. Um, but it does look really cute. And um, back zip. Um, so um, back zip instead of side zip, which can be a bit of an issue with fitting. Um, so I would say they're generally true to size, but sometimes you need to size up just because of that zip. We don't have any information about the foot opening, but I will be taking my tape measure. Total heel height is 10.3 centimetres. Um, so they are very similar to these little guys, which are one of my favourite shoes to walk in. It's such a comfy shoe. So I'm quite looking forward to having a look at the platforms. I think they're cute, although um, I'm not... 100% sold on the design but I think it at the moment I'm, I'm a bit yeah um, I'm waiting to see what else is coming but they are cute and this is one of the shoes this shoe I didn't buy during the Dumbo launch and I ended up looking for it for years and years and years so if it's something that you think you might grow to love I definitely consider investing if it's going to be one of the ones that goes fast. It's hard to tell until you know, see more of the collection what's going to go fast or not. Um, these tend, this heel tends to be hit and miss. Um, so sometimes it might go fast, sometimes maybe not. Um, the other shoe that we've seen is Your Despicable, which is the the flat platform boot. Um, it's got Sylvester on one side and Daffy Duck on the other and it looks so funny. Um, very similar to this style of shoe um, so again very comfortable um, true to size generally although you know it's sometimes sizes sometimes the same shoe changes over time but generally this shoe is always true to size maybe it, it's generally more on the larger size than the smaller size so you may get away with sizing down um, I should be doing a full sizing video on the day I love that the tongue of your despicable is the um the that's all folks looney jeans circle and it's got that beautiful blue stripe across it and good news for people in bigger with bigger feet um they are in the extended size range so they're 36 to 46 which um means that i think we'll probably get some of the other shoes in the extended range as well maybe like the banjo heel type height will be extended as well so give them a bit of a heel to people um there's also tights the tights uh i am obsessed with the regular choice tights i've got so so many um, i think i counted at one point and i had over a hundred or something um but um they're quite good fitting they they're one size fits all and they go from like size eight to size 
16 um but i do know people bigger than that who've managed to get into them and the pattern on these is amazing and i love it but also it gives us a hint of what's to come because from the pattern on the tights and the box which is here we've seen the box um it's hidden if you click through all the pictures on the regular choice website you will find it as well as the soles we can see a little bit of the soles it's like a little bit of red and a little bit of blue so they're going to be two different colors um so the box and the tights tell us which other characters we might see in the collection so on the tights we have bugs bunny daffy duck sylvester twitty pie tasmanian devil marvin the martian Wiley Coyote, Roadrunner, Yasmite Sam, and Speedy Gonzalez. They are all on the tights. They're not all appearing on shoes at the moment, but there is a possibility for them to appear on shoes because they are on the tights. Um, I know there's been collections like the Disney collection where um, Goofy's not in any of the collection. Um, and then there was... And then in Hello Kitty, obviously there's only certain characters. Um, also in Toy Story we didn't have Slinky so if there is a character that you love and you're not sure whether they're going to be included I don't know if it's to do with like securing rights or maybe just the design process collections don't always have every character um so if there is a character that you love and it, they're on the tights there's a good chance that they might appear in the collection does that make sense so on the box we have um several characters as well but we actually have less characters that's on the tights. There's no Roadrunner, unless the back of the box is different, and that could be true as well, because we're only seeing this corner of the box, and the soles are blue and red, so it could be that the other side of the box is the red side, if that makes sense, or maybe they're just not on the box. But we have Roadrunner not on the box. I think that's the only one. Got, um, I'm actually looking at the box here. Um, so we've got Bug, Staffy, Tasmanian Devil, Sylvester, Tweety Pie, um, uh, Marvin, Speedy Gonzalez, and Yes Mike Sam. That's the one I couldn't remember. Actually, the only one missing from the box is Roadrunner, but that doesn't mean that he's not in the collection because he is on the tights. Also, on the bag as well, there's Tasmanian Devil and Tasmanian She Devil, like kind of getting married by Bugs Bunny. Is that right? Bugs Bunny is performing a wedding ceremony for the um, Mr. and Mrs. Tasmanian Devil. Um, so um, She Devil is in the artwork as well. So there's a possibility that she could be on shoes. So that's everything we know so far. We know the size range of the two different shoes. Your Despicable is the extended sizes, which is 36 to 46. That's all folks is 36 to 43 in the usual sizes. Um, we don't know how big the collection is going to be we don't know what else there's going to be we can um kind of guesstimate and um if we're assuming that it's the same size collection as pokemon or hello kitty then there's certain things that are going to be in it so this style bag with the top handle is pretty much in every collection it generally sells out the fastest although it didn't in the pokemon collection but we can usually expect a bag of this size as well as generally always the bigger bag although We've got the more square one, which kind of takes over from this. So I'm not sure if we're going to see one of these and the square one as well, the square TV one, because that is a new shape. So it could be that we're moving away from this style of big bag to the one that's more square. It's kind of like just turning it on its side a little bit. We often have the backpack bag as well, where you can put the strap through it. We've seen this in Pokemon. We've seen it in... Did we have it in Hello Kitty? I'm not sure but we definitely saw it in pokemon and it, it's a bag that returns quite a lot um we just had a butterfly version of it so we might see the shape bag as well both care bears and pokemon had this size bag as well and this size bag sold out very fast in both collections i think it's because it's quite a convenient size and they're usually at a good price range again we're not going to know prices until the collection launch they were put on by accident in one collection but i don't think they were meant to be so we did have prices once before but i don't think that's going to happen again and possibly a pouch although in some collections it's more moved 
to a shaped bag like the little star bag in um pokemon so i think we'd either have a pouch or a little star bag and we will most definitely have at least one coin purse if not more than one because we have tights coming we can pretty much guess that there's going to be scarves as well so scarves tights and the coin purse often versions of these are exclusive to a regular choice nothing says exclusive at the moment although that's not always the case because we had things say not saying exclusive beforehand before and they were so at the moment it looks like everything is going to be available from the independent stockists we will most likely have one of the flat round toed shoes which i can't find at the moment so i'll just take a picture of the pokemon ones up here and then we'll have the probably the lower and mid heel so this is 7.2 centimeters and i think this is six centimeters there's usually a variation of these if they're mary jane style then that's even better because i love the mary jane shoes so we most likely have the two different heels heights and the mid heels then moving on to high heels we already know we've got platforms i would expect to see something with the loose side heel just because it's always there I think we'll most likely get either one of this star boot or this star boot or maybe both like we did with Oz. Um, so possibly these and I hope a cleated sole because these is one of my favourite styles of shoes. Yeah, she's lost her pom pom and I'm sad. I don't know where I went. Um, so yeah, we've had this style in quite a few of the recent collections so there's hope there's hope there's hope that we might get this style of shoe um will anything light up we don't know will anything play music <gasps> that would be good if you had one of these style shoes that played that soul folks because they can do that we've had this version of shoe talking um so that's what we might see um what do i want to see um i've been thinking about this I've been thinking about this and I never really thought of a Looney Tunes collection but now that I know we're getting one um all I can think of is a pair of these with Tweety Pie in how cool would that be if we got the birdcage back and Tweety Pie was in it and the is a chance that could happen because we still get the snow globes we've had snow globes as recently as Pokemon which was the last major collection so there is a chance that we could get a Tweety Pie birdcage maybe with Sylvester coming around on the corner or something I don't know but that would be cool and um, that's like my dream shoe I'm not sure it's gonna happen but that would be a dream um character heels I'm not sure if it's gonna be more of the um Pokemon style where it's a character stuck on the heel um I think it was like a Nick of Time heel wasn't it where the character stuck on it so I've been looking at the um, character heels we've already had and how they could translate to um, Looney Tunes characters and I think because they're all stood upright it would be hard to maybe turn on the bunnies or the um, unicorns or anything like that into a Looney Tunes character but do you know who could be turned into a Looney Tunes character and this is just a wild guess he could easily be turned into like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck Roadrunner, maybe not Roadrunner, but Marvin the Martian, he's a good height. So it might be an opportunity for this heel to come back with a different character on, which would be cool. And again, this is pure, pure fantasy. Um, we might also get something like White Rabbit where he stood up like this. That could work as well um, if we do get character heels. So I definitely want to see more Tweety Pie and also Roadrunner. <laughs> Mostly because I, I am a runner, so I associate uh, with Roadrunner quite well. And I think it would be cool to have something with Roadrunner on to wear uh, before or after a race, if I ever run again. Um, so yeah, I would love to see something with Roadrunner. But I just had another thought as well. You could do something like this with the Looney Tunes Bullseye logo. That would work as well. And that's not too far from the shoes that they've already done. Um, so it wouldn't be that different. I would like to see different things as well though. But I can't even imagine what they could be. Um, so I'm just really interested to see 
where the collection is going to go and what we're going to see in it and if you are too let me know let me know what you would love and what you think might be coming um what you'd absolutely have to buy and what you really don't want to see maybe maybe stay away from the negatives and let's just do let's be more positive um so yeah i'm really keen to see are we gonna have jewelry because that would be cool as well um i know we've definitely got tights but is there gonna be other tights um and are we gonna get socks there's so many questions um i think we'll probably get our first reveal on maybe monday or tuesday if not one early in the week then probably midweek and then we should definitely get one on the friday as well um it's hard at the moment as well because they're still promoting their sale so i think they're balancing their sale with the new collection but i would expect to get a reveal um within the next few days i think um and let's see what it is really excited to see where this is gonna go um i've already got I don't want to do, like sing the tiny, the genie, and they're all a little loony, but it's not even the right cartoon. Um, Animaniacs. Animaniacs would be great shoes. Um, yeah, what other collections would you love to see as well? And how are you feeling about this new vlog instead of a blog? Um, I'd love to get your opinions. Is it too long? Am I talking too fast? Do I just need to shut up? That's probably not going to happen. You're better off just ignoring me. So I think that's it for this one. Um, I think I've covered everything that I can. I just had a, another idea, I moved the camera, but either this size, this size, or maybe the like smaller grab size, but there's so many round of regular choice bags that it would be perfect to do the Looney Tunes bullseye logo with the characters coming out. So you'd have a round Looney Tunes bag, that would be awesome. Um, so yeah, that would be definitely something I'd want to see. Um, Especially if it's this size, because I love this size bag. My Dumbo version of this, which is over that mountain of stuff over there, is one of my favourite bags. But yeah, if they don't do a circle Looney Tunes bullseye bag, they've missed a trick. Now I think that's it. So I think that's my whole mind dump. And um, yeah, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. And But for now, that's all, folks. <laughs> You made it to the end, thank you. If you'd like more shoes, more reviews, more news, what else can we get to rhyme? Then you can subscribe to this channel or you can go to the website, Instagram or Facebook. All the information is in the description of this video. Thank you very much, bye.